Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Kit Battle. So this is a really awesome Kit PvP plugin with some really cool features. So first of all, let's go through some of the signs. So let's go through the leave sign to begin with, which is KB in square brackets on the first line, leave on the second line, it's very straightforward. And the uh, stat sign is in the same format. And then the soup sign, um, mostly the same, but you can add a cost on the third line if you want to. But I'm going to leave it blank so it's free, so people can right-click that in game and grab as much soup as they want. Uh, then we have the uh, leaderboard sign. So if you do KB on the top line, um, top on the second line, and then whatever number you want. So this is the first player, and then you can obviously add the second best player, the third, the fourth, and however many you want. Uh, like this. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Now we need to actually create an arena. So if you do KB admin, this will show you the admin commands. So we need to do KB create and then an arena name. And that also sets the spawn for the arena. So you can change that um, by doing KB set spawn and obviously the arena name. Um, and then you can go ahead and create a join sign for the arena. So join uh, YouTube. Let me just get rid of that. And then you can right click to join the brand new arena you have. So there's another really cool feature where you can 1v1 someone. I'm going to just use this uh, arena I made earlier. So if you do KB set challenge 1, that sets the first location for player 1. And obviously you can set 2 for player 2. So basically, um, when you join an arena, you are given all these items. So if you right click someone with a blaze rod, it will... Um, ask them whether they want to 1v1 you and if they right click you back you'll be sent into the arena and then you can uh, fight to the death and win points and whatnot. So first of all let's go through the shop there is tons of kits here really cool nice and colorful um, and you can do KB coins to show you the coin commands and you can add um, coins to a player's account so for example uh, if you had Bycraft set up, you could set an automatic command to give someone coins when they donate for a rank or something, um, or just, yeah, something like that. Um, and then the kit selector, these are all the ones that you've bought, and there is also the kit unlocker, so this is pretty cool. Uh, there's a sound as well, it randomly selects one, and we got minor. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. And then, if we go into this, we will see all the ones we have. So uh, you can have them require permissions if you really want to, but uh, obviously I don't because I don't have permissions on the server. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the stat sign. We have 3 kills, 22 XP, 18,000 coins, and a KDR of 3. That's pretty good. Um, so the soup sign, as you see, you can grab lots of soup, but obviously we need to select a kit to begin with, or we can buy a kit. Viper, that sounds cool. So there's uh, the Viper kit. Yes or no, whether you want to buy it, yes. And then we can go ahead and select it. There we go. And um, yeah, that's very, very cool. So he can select a kit now. Uh, he selected the default one, and I can uh, kill him like this. And I'll get points, and it'll update my stats, which is really, really cool. Uh, so if I leave now and uh, rejoin uh, and select, where is it? There was a really, really cool phantom, this is it. So if you right click the book, you can actually fly um, for a few seconds, which will give you a massive advantage in uh, in a battle. So the final thing is the um, actually challenge thing. So if you right click him, and if he right clicks me, we will be sent into the arena. So uh, yeah, this is a really cool plugin. You can get it from Spigger. It's by the same guy who made um, Survival Games. That was an amazing plugin, which I've covered twice because it uh, was updated. And I'll soon be uh, covering his Hide and Seek plugin. So let's go into the config to begin with. And as you can see, uh, there is various different um, things that you can change here. So you can change the maximum experience per kill, you can say whether players drop items on the ground, whether you pick it up, the starting coins, so maybe they can buy a kit to begin with, and then down here you can add kill streaks. So this is really cool. Uh, I know uh, some plugins have this, but not very many, so you could add maybe a 7 kill streak, 
which I believe was a Harrier in Call of Duty, one of the CODs, I haven't played that in a while. Uh, and then it performs a command, so coins, add player, and then obviously a number of coins, so they can buy a kit. And you can also um, remove coins as well if they went on a kill streak. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but uh, you could. Uh, there is also allow commands in um, when you're in an arena, so you could get rid of uh, Fortress Fly, so people can't cheat and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this is the location we set in game. And then we can go into all the other um, files. So you can change what you actually get. Um, make sure you uh, use the correct item. So iron underscore boots rather than just iron boots. Uh, you can change the price. It's very straightforward. And um, yeah, you can add permissions as well. So I believe this is uh, everything in this file pretty straightforward and obviously the amount you can change as well and uh, yeah let's move on I don't want this video to be too long uh, this is just the maps we've set it just sets a spawn point so you wouldn't want to edit that the abilities uh, this is really cool um, I showed you the uh, what was it uh, where is it oh phantom ability so you can change how long uh, each ability lasts for and various other values such as freeze time depending on which kit. Um, so I think five seconds, uh, probably not long enough. I'd set it to about eight, um, and then they can't use it for 45 seconds, otherwise it'd be too powerful. Uh, players, this is where it stores all the information about players. You probably wouldn't want to change this unless you it was you who owned the server and you wanted to cheat. You got 5,000 kills, legitly, uh, like that. Uh, there is rank, so I don't think I've been in this yet. So once you get a certain amount of experience, you get a particular rank and then it performs commands. So you could also um, add another command such as uh, broadcast uh, congrats uh, to uh, whatever player it is. So grab this, yeah, for reaching rank three or whatever, something along those lines. Uh, so that's pretty awesome and finally the signs um, you can change how they appear and obviously the uh, color so you could maybe make them bold by adding and L on the end make sure there's not space there so yeah that is all of the files I believe uh, pretty straightforward there's also messages and obviously you could change that if you wanted to I wouldn't recommend it it's just fine how it is so yeah, that's the plugin. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.